6.43 this morning. It was stormy north of us yesterday. We were just nice and hot, but look at all the activity to the north. All the reports of damaging wind, hail. Yes, there were a couple reports of tornadoes in Louisiana and north of Houston, and there was more reports of flooding, and there's going to be a repeat of that today. Now, the best chance for severe weather is in this area of yellow. Notice between Houston and on up towards the Cincinnati area. Actually, I think the biggest threat for Houston is going to be the flooding, though, because it's that heavy rain, and we've heard about the flooding they just had two days ago there. The ground's so wet, it's not going to take much for new flooding to pop up there. Now, for us, there is a very small chance of severe weather. Notice it's not as big as even in the Houston area. It's a marginal risk, level one out of five. There's a better chance we won't see any severe storms, but the chance isn't zero, so that's why we're under the marginal risk. Although, I will point out that Star County, I think, has a little bit better chance than the Lower Valley. This could be updated later today. Uh, the Lower Valley could be taken out of the risk, and we might see the risk upgraded in Star County, and here's why. Uh, this is what one model is showing, showing the very small chance for a couple sprinkles early this morning while we still have all these clouds, but they're not going to be sticking around. Notice how the clouds break up just like they did yesterday and probably early afternoon we're going to be partly cloudy but I don't think it's going to get quite as sunny as yesterday because rain is going to be returning in the late afternoon. As early as around 4 o'clock, we could see those showers and storms moving into Star County. Notice that shade of red. That shows the potential for what could be a severe storm. Now, they're going to be moving east, but notice that there's still the potential in Hidalgo County, but not seeing that shade of red and orange in the lower valley. It looks like these storms are going to be falling apart as they move east. In fact, some, especially near the coast, could miss out on the rain. Notice by 10 o'clock, things kind of quiet down. Still a chance for some isolated showers overnight, but no more severe storms. And tomorrow, guess what? We still have chances of rain. Isolated showers in the morning, isolated showers and storms in the afternoon, isolated showers and storms in the evening. It's not going to rain all day tomorrow, but the chance of missing out on the rain tomorrow is going to be tough because the rain is going to continue into Friday night as well. Tomorrow there could be storms, but they're not going to be severe. They're going to be regular thunderstorms. And even today, the chance of seeing severe storms is small, but it's not zero. During the day, it's mainly going to be dry. There is a 20% chance in the late afternoon, again, mainly in the upper valley, but a lot of us will stay dry. Highs are going to be around 93. The heat index is going to be around 102. A hot day. It's not even going to be that breezy, so don't count on the breeze to help things out. It's going to be a muggy night tonight, and it's going to be cloudy. Notice it's a 40% chance, so yes, some missing out on the rain, especially if you're closer to the coast. I'm not sure everybody's going to see that rain, but rain will be around a 40% chance of seeing showers and storms. A severe weather threat is not high. We're going with a medium low chance of damaging wind and hail. Notice we're not even going full medium, but the best thing we could most likely see would be some damaging hail and damaging wind. The best chance is in Star County, and the timing is from 4 o'clock this afternoon to 10 o'clock this evening. The chance of flooding is very low. Chance of a tornado not quite zero, but also very low. Uh, so again, if we see signs of severe weather, we'll be sure to let you know, uh, but the chance is low. Now, Let's look ahead to the weekend real quickly because the weekend's not that bad. There's going to be some scattered showers still on Saturday. I think mainly in the morning. Look at the high temperature on Saturday. A big change. 80 degrees. A remarkably cool day for this time of year. A mostly cloudy day as well. Now, it's going to be mostly cloudy on Sunday as well, but the rain chance is very small. There could be a few morning showers, but most of the day is going to be dry. A little bit warmer, 85, but right now looking like a pretty solid Mother's Day for mom. We'll be right back after this break.